This is Jim from Mooker.com. Now, the goal is to design a solid state machine that mimics a generator that has no counter electromagnetic flux affecting it. And since it doesn't physically rotate, it has no lens drag. Okay. Now, the difference between a transformer and a generator is on a generator. The peak output of the sine wave on a generator occurs when two opposite magnetic polarities or poles are closest to the two coil outer walls. So when the in-between section of the magnet is lined up with dead middle of your pickup coil, you got one pole affecting this wall and you have another pole affecting this wall. This is when the magnetic flux change is at its peak in rotation. Okay, so your output sine wave will be at peak when you have two different polarities here. Okay, now this is going to cause a lot of drag if this was rotating, but it does not cause any counter electromagnetic field to be transferred back to the primary. That's why an alternator on a car can sustain itself even without the battery. Okay, it produces more output than it takes to sustain the magnetic field of the rotor. Now, as I said, it drags and it takes a lot of horsepower to keep it going. Now, if we could mimic that to create more energy than it needs to sustain the magnetic field without physical rotation, there would be no drag. Then we need to see what happens. Okay. So if we did this with transformers, a north and a south, hitting the walls, right? Just like this, a south and a north. If we did this with transformers, we'd have no induction because the magnetic flux is going down towards the pickup coil. It's going down, right? But we need this action in order to eliminate the counter electromagnetic flux. We don't want that raising our input we don't need that we want to get rid of that so we need this action the north and the south hitting the coil walls at the same time but in order for it to actually induce a current in the pickup coil we need to change the direction of the flux the way it's traveling by 90 degrees instead of going down we need it to go to the right or to the left to swoop past it instead of coming down at it okay now it cannot be done with two primary coils phase shifted at 90 degrees like I thought it could and like many others think it could. It can't, but there is a way and I have it set up, but I need to build it out right. Okay, so I'm going to build this. You could join me at mooker.com in the description. The link is down there as I build this out and show how to do it. Okay, I already have one video up showing the basic idea and some oscilloscope shots of how the phase shift happens when I'm just doing one coil as opposed to all the coils that are needed. It's not that hard and I'm going to reveal all at the forum. Now let's think about a regular transformer. Let's just say we have a secondary and one primary. In this situation the peak output is aligned with the peak input okay so the phases are aligned therefore the counter electromagnetic field affects the primary and raises the input exactly equal to what you pull out of the secondary but on a generator it doesn't do this instead it drags you down but it does not pass anything to the input of the primary coil so the key is we need to get a rotating magnetic field or a moving magnetic field to mimic a generator where we're at peak when we have one polarity on one side of the coil another polarity on the other side of the coil like this north and south we want this at peak output at that time because if this is putting out either polarity one side is kind of causing CEMF the other side is helping us and it cancels out okay so if you're interested in watching this and to see how it's done which I think it's going to do what it should 
And again, I always think that, and I'm always wrong, but one of these times I will be right. Join me at the forum, Mugger.com, as we search for um, the secret to free energy. All right, thank you.